London's slightly challenged at the moment. Um, we had a rev par drop by 2.8% in 2016. Um, however, the Athenaeum has been under a significant reversion for several of those months, and so therefore it's very difficult to actually say exactly whether the Athenaeum is performing particularly well against the competitors or not, given the market has dropped and we've been under construction. However, coming out of the construction right now, we're seeing um, very positive signs, and the forecast for the next two months is showing great growth from our US market, uh, in particular for May, June and July, and in August our uh, Middle Eastern business, which is very important in August, is coming back as well. And they're not just booking the rooms, they're booking the suites and the residences, so we're very excited by that. Um, it, we're looking for a return on investment, obviously, as a hotel, and after a challenge in 2016, we're seeing some very positive signs in 17 and going forwards. Over the next six months, we're seeing the Athenaeum is starting to perform particularly well. And whereas in the past we were not performing at the same level as our peers during our construction period, now we're finding that we're now exceeding the competitors on occupancy and just slightly below them on, on rate right now. But that's something we're building. We expect the next six months to see very positive growth, though, particularly uh, the months of August. And as we go back into the corporate months of September and October, we're seeing some improving signs there as well. We're an independent hotel, so everything we do as an independent hotel is driven by what the guests tell us they want. So we conducted a huge amount of research to our guests and also to the people that support the hotel in terms of business throughout the year and asked them what would be the main things that you would like in the Athenaeum if we made an improvement. One of the things was natural light. The other thing is not to nickel and dime guests. The other thing was to improve the restaurant uh, and also have a bar that you could have business meetings at. And so we took all those things on board. Um, and completed a very exciting multi-million pound refurbishment um, with Chris and Jeff Galvin, Michelin star chefs at the helm, culinary, culinary helm, and also a new, new barman as well. Um, the lobby is a lot brighter and lighter and we have now created a much better presence on, on Mayfair Piccadilly and it's been very well received from the guests as well.